What's up everyone, Alessandro the Crypto here and welcome to another Bitcoin price analysis. I hope that you can hear me better guys because this morning I bought a new microphone. I hope that the sound quality right now is better since I didn't like that much the quality of the sound. So I hope that with this microphone here it's going to be better and that we can have a nice Bitcoin analysis today and from now on with a better sound quality. So welcome everyone and uh, basically I yesterday not only bought this new microphone, but also bought some more Bitcoin guys, because um, even though there is the risk to fall lower, I like to DCA every now and then into Bitcoin. And yesterday I bought a, a bigger chunk of Bitcoin because uh, even though we are still going sideways and everything is basically boring for Bitcoin, you know that the best strategy is always to buy Bitcoin, always to DCA into Bitcoin. Even if you're buying the all time high at the end, if you just hodl enough, it doesn't really matter. And yesterday I really didn't want to wait any more longer. I just wanted to buy some more because we had so many dips already in the Bitcoin price. And very often I didn't buy because I still expected that we could drop at some point down to 50K or 45K. That is still of course possible, but I just didn't want to wait anymore. Sometimes uh, the, it is just too much waiting because very often Bitcoin is just going sideways. And you know how it is guys. At some point you just want to buy something and you don't want to wait anymore. And this happened to me also yesterday. So yes, I bought again much more Bitcoin and um, I don't really care if now we're going to skyrocket to 300k or if we're going to dump again down towards 50k or 40k. I anyway going to buy more Bitcoin. And even if we pump towards 300k, I would never sell all my Bitcoin. I would never just sell everything because I don't want to own too much fiat, guys. Whenever I have too much fiat, I just like to invest it in something. And I was looking around into some stocks and other uh, cryptos and so on. And yes, I bought some of those uh, new meme coins and also more Pepe coin and so on. The original one and some of the new um, uh, projects that are coming out like Pepe Unchained. I'm very bullish on some projects, of course, even though they are high risk. But um, the safe ha haven for me is always Bitcoin. And this should be also for you guys. Of course, no financial advice. I'm just sharing everything I'm doing with you. And Bitcoin is the best. I'm here since many years already, since 2017. And I can tell you that altcoins and meme coins are coming and going and it is good to uh, speculate with them that's why i'm also buying coins with chickens like flockers for example because i i i trust more such new meme coins and i have more hype on some uh, i'm more bullish on some meme coins like this much more than on stocks guys because I, I don't know the, the meme coins the, the meme world is the is the world that I like to invest in of course you can lose everything but also you're here for the meme you're here to risk something and with stocks I don't know if you're buying stocks you're just gonna return back into the fiat world and like back into the traditional markets I don't like that that's why I'm buying always new crypto stuff and of course also trying out new projects but buying Bitcoin in my opinion is always the best thing if you have too much headache too much ideas too much things going on just forget about everything and just buy bitcoin and you should be doing great guys we're gonna have a look uh, also today of course into some indicators uh, but mainly also into the monthly time frame because i just want to show you that usually whenever you're buying bitcoin in october and october is going to be a green month we're gonna see big returns when october is a bad month when october is closing in red then we see usually afterwards a big, big dump, like a black swan event or a big crash, call it how you want, but this is what we get very often. So in the daily time frame, nothing much is happening, guys. We're just it's still in this trading range. As long as we don't see here a major breakout to the upside or to the downside, this is the trading range between 70K and the 50K. Nothing has changed on that. But today I want to focus a bit more into the monthly time frame. And even though there are indicators that are telling the top is in and so on, I just want to give you all the different perspective uh, from, um, from a different uh, angle. Let's say it like that. Because... We got now a, a bullish September. September closed in green. Of course, not with a bullish engulfing candle or anything like that. We closed below uh, basically the other green closes, but um, we closed bullish on in September, like green in September. And October currently is red because we are right at the beginning of September uh, of October. Uh, one third of October is already over. But usually, whenever October is starting red, 
this is a good buy opportunity if then the month is closing into green so if this month we're gonna have a green close let's say uh, above 64 65k then we have very good chances that we could see a huge run up at least have this end of the year rally towards the top side of the Kelvin channels currently at around 73 to 74k for Bitcoin. If Bitcoin would rally all the way up towards that uh, price level, you can be sure that many, many altcoins will explode like crazy. And that's why also right now I'm buying some altcoins. If you want to buy the ones that are not yet out on exchanges, where you have, of course, the biggest upside potential, then the list is here in the video description from the coins that I bought, like Pepe Unchained, Crypto All Stars, Flockers, that you can still stake for a very high API. You can see that I have reached almost, let me put that in English, uh, I have reached almost my um, my investment back in, in form of those flock tokens. So once this one is coming out, I immediately can take profits with my staking rewards and the rest I can let it go. And um, if Bitcoin would rally up towards 74K, you can be sure that many altcoins will also explode like crazy. And let's go a little bit back in time and have a look what happened when October closed or what happened in October in general and also what happened when we closed green, uh, green October or a uh, red October, so bullish or bearish. So if we go back in time, the, the last October in 2023, you can see that September was also green and then October we had first a little dump here and then immediately a huge run up. We don't gonna look into the indicators uh, in this case, we're just gonna have a look if they close green or red. We keep it very simple uh, today because I had already a lot of stress in setting up this microphone, guys, so I don't want too much headache. That's why we're gonna keep it simple. October closed green. You see the next few months, we had a massive run up in the Bitcoin price. Then let's go a bit more back in time. This is October in, uh, in, in the bear market, not in a bull market like here. We were in a bear market. The top was 60, uh, what was it, 69K. We entered into a severe uh, bear market and guess what? October, even though we had a bear market, closed green. And uh, yeah, afterwards we had another uh, dump, but if you basically bought this low here, you, you almost bought the, the absolute uh, bottom here. And afterwards we had this huge rally. But yes, here we closed slightly in green, but afterwards we had two months in red and then we started the big run up. Yes, here we had afterwards a little dump, but afterwards we uh, started the rally. Then October 2021, this was basically the all time high during this bull run, you see that even though the actual top was here at 64K, we had this crash and then everywhere sell signals and then a big bounce and we topped out here at the top side of the Kelvin channels. That's why guys, it is very important that with this bounce, if it's going to happen, that we rally above 74K and close the monthly candle also above 74K. Otherwise we can repeat something that we had also here. Uh, that we have maybe a higher high or we push higher, we have bearish divergences and so on, and then we enter into a bear market. That's why we have to avoid that. We, we need monthly closes above the top set of the Calden channels. And you see that here we closed in green, but then the next two months, this was basically the top and afterwards we started the big bear market. So yes, this was the top of the bull run. That's why for October also very bullish, green, close, and afterwards we started the bear market. Uh, yeah, so let's go a bit more back in time. This is October, also green, a green close in October again. So you see that October is usually a, a good month for Bitcoin. And always at the beginning we have a dump, but afterwards we have a, we have a big pump. And also here, after we closed in green, we had this massive run up. So you see that, we, I mean, here I don't expect like the cycle top for Bitcoin, unless of course we rally, I don't know, up to 80, 90 K and then the monthly close is still below the top side of the Kelvin channels. So let's assume that we rally all the way up to, uh, I don't know, up here to 100 K and then immediately um, come back down and close the monthly candle of October, for example, at some below 74 K. So that would end up in a big blow off top. This is, in my opinion, a potential top um, blow off scenario that could be happening if we don't close above the top side of the Kelvin channels. So, of course, we can repeat something like that and even push higher than that. Um, but yeah, we will see what happens. But in October, you see that October usually is like the beginning of a major run up or the top or a beginning of a major uh, bear market. Then we have here also October in 2019, even though we had this bear market here, this huge crash, uh, we closed green and uh, yeah, also October was bullish, but then afterwards uh, two big red months. 
afterwards another run-up then we had here the the crash that happened in 2020 everyone knows what happened there and afterwards we started the big bull run then we had these uh, these um, bear market here from the top here at 20k we crashed all the way down to 6k and you see that here october closed red and when october is closing red that means that most likely we're gonna have a major dump afterwards and you see what happened here immediately we crashed 50 percent so this was very bearish here october also very bullish you see october 2017 afterwards we had this huge run-up also here uh, we had a good close uh, then here october uh, 2016 also we closed in green and afterwards big run-up so also here we had a very a good um, October and afterwards a huge bull run continued or started uh, because we were actually also here already in a bull run but here we went into completely parabolic uh, mode and Bitcoin just pumped up to $20,000. Then we have this October 2015 also here this signaled basically the, the bottom of this uh, bear market and once we had a monthly close above the median line of the calendar channels here you see that we never closed again below we started this huge parabolic run up. Then Bitcoin rallied from $300 up to 20k. Insane levels, guys. And uh, yeah, also we closed in green here. Then what else do we have here? October 2014. Here we closed in red again. This is the second time that we closed in red. And you see what happened afterwards. Yeah, we had this uh, uh, bullish November here, but afterwards also big crash. And here also we dumped, uh, uh, let's see, this was the close here. And we dumped also 50%. So when october is closing red we're gonna down 50 percent this also could be a rule for bitcoin maybe uh, let's hope that this time we don't gonna close in red uh, then uh, what else do we have here october 2013 also closing green and then we had this huge uh, run up here insane guys uh, then what else here october 2012 this was the only exception here i must admit because uh, you see 2012 maybe this was also because it was the early stage of bitcoin but october closed slightly in red but also not too bad but slightly in red and afterwards a uh, huge parabolic run-up that's why sometimes the indicators are telling or the the, the charts are telling mo most likely more downside possible also here in 2011 uh, red close then big dump again and afterwards we recovered so this is basically all of it the whole history of bitcoin so we can say that october is usually a good month when we close in green we should expect big upside or um, the top to be close uh, something like that but when we close in red generally this is a very very bad sign that we're gonna dump most likely 50 percent or something like that and um, if we would dump from here on 50 percent this would take a bitcoin uh, yeah quite low yeah, around thirty thousand dollars. I mean, I don't have to take out the measurement tool, but uh, this would bring Bitcoin basically back down to the support support trendline curve here, the support curve, which is currently at around thirty-two thousand dollars. I don't expect that, but um, I'm still very bullish for October, November, December. But the indicators are telling, of course, something different, and that's why it's going to be very, very important to see where we're going to close October. But um, we still have 20 days left to go and i told you guys that the two week time frame is signaling a good uh, uh, buy signal in theory we should be seeing here a big move to the upside the weekly time frame is also not looking too bad i mean we cooled off everything a bit and also uh, the macd is about to cross bullish once this is happening then i think this can bring a lot of uh, upside momentum with it and we can push towards new all-time highs but only time will tell guys just DCA into Bitcoin, that's the easiest thing to do. If you're trading with leverage, then of course you can use several indicators to trade the lower time frames, uh, like three hour, the four hour, the daily time frame, and so on. Um, we will see what happens. Uh, currently, the indicators are not telling um, anything big. I mean, yeah, a bounce is incoming. Um, I would also long right now. That's why I also bought more Bitcoin down here. But um, um, yeah, right now I would be very careful if you're trading with leverage. I'm also focusing more in buying new stuff, new cryptos and so on. Uh, if you want to buy them, guys, uh, links in the video description. Also, if you want to buy like the um, uh, new coins that are coming out, Maxi Global is a great exchange for that. You can sign up with my links here to all exchanges, of course, that I'm also using. Because on Maxi Global, you often have the newest coins getting listed here and sometimes they're really uh, pumping uh, nicely. SPX, for example, also came out today 
and uh, let's have a look into the charts. Some of them they're pumping like crazy and also they consolidate in very high levels. Some of them immediately they dump when people are taking profits. Also this one you see uh, it, it had this initial big pump. Then it's now again in consolidation phase and we will see if it's going to have continuation to the upside or not. But here you can also trade a lot of those uh, new meme coins and all coins that are coming out. Also this Coco coin, I'm very bullish at the chart is looking great. We had also here initial big pump then consolidation and now we will see what happens you of course can also still buy them on pancake swap and so on this is a new meme coin on binance binance will list it very very soon currently you can only purchase it uh, through their official website that you also find here in the video description of course and the other ones like pepe crypto all stars flockers and so on you can also buy them they're all here in the video description and in all of them of course we are hoping that at launch they're gonna pump like this and also stay up there that would be great of course especially if you're buying early those coins you can buy and stake it for uh, a very long time because like that also you can accumulate more and more rewards and more and more tokens currently the best one to stake is flockers that's why it is also ranked uh, number three right now many people are buying in right now um, because the others like crypto stars they raised over 2 millions which is also a lot for a new project but the, here the staking reward is still around 700 percent it's also not bad uh, but you see that pepe unchained for example this one is the most hyped one and i'm very very bullish on this pepe uh, exchange that is coming out uh, on top of pepe because um, um, imagine if you are able then to buy all those new coins uh, then instead of metamask uh, uh, with your um uh, with your Pepe wallet that will come out. So this is something very big and that's why also many people invested in this coin. You see here almost 19 millions raised, which is of course insane. So we will see what happens, but I'm very bullish on these new projects as well, especially if the bull run continues. The, uh, meme coins, guys, is the uh, is the alternative to invest right now, in my opinion. Uh, many of those meme coins, they, they will perform great. Also, if you own... Um, uh, Pepe or others you can for example also just keep it here on Bybit sign up links also in the video description and just uh, keep it here and get the passive income you get here 1% uh, um, uh, API on on the original Pepe which is also okay also for Floki 1% Shiba they are all around 1% um, for Bitcoin and USDTs it's uh, much higher of course so it's also nice to generate like this some passive income on USDTs. You have 8%, which is also great. You can park your cryptos and get passive income, of course. And that's why I also am very bullish on those new projects. And when they're new, you get, of course, this high API that you get, for example, here on uh, Flockers, almost 3,000%. Once they're coming out on exchanges and so on, then, of course, the API is dropping uh, very uh, to insane low levels, like 1%. It's not that much, but it's still something that you can get. All right, guys, and with that said, I'm uh, going to wrap it up for now. I hope that the sound quality is good, uh, guys. And uh, yeah, let's see. I have now to upload the video and then I can listen to myself and see if the quality is good. Of course, I tested it already, but uh, I want to compare it to um, other videos uh, once it's online, of course. So be subscribed. Thank you very much for watching and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye for now.